So hey guys, it's Zion again, and we're back with Black Ops 2 on Carrier of all maps, using the 5.7 of all guns on this map. And yes, I am a complete and total whore, because hey look, I bought Cyborg Camo, but if you have, want my opinion, it is the coolest camo in this game. It looks better on PC and console than Diamond or Gold on every single weapon I've put it on. It is by far and away the best, not even Bacon can beat the cyborg in this case. And while I might do a commentary on this camo in sometime in the future, I wanted to talk about something that I've been meaning to talk about for a while, but I just have never taken the time or put in the effort to do. And if you are watching this video, you probably know who I'm going to be talking about based on the setup I'm using of Smoke and two trophy systems. I'm talking about Xcal. But not just about him, but his method of thinking. Xcal thinking is what I'm calling it, or the Xcal effect. He doesn't care about big score. He doesn't care about view count. He doesn't really care about what people think of him. He cares about one thing and one thing only. Winning. He will do anything and everything to win. But he also doesn't like to use the really, really overpowered stuff. He doesn't like to use the MSMC all the time. He doesn't like to use all of the the SCAR, the MTAR, the M27, the PDW, he doesn't like it. And he looks at people's combat records just so he can see what they've used and he can gauge how they are as a player. And looking back, I've seen that he would, he would probably not really approve of any of my combat records. Because on Black Ops 2, my top weapon is the MSMC, and there's the MP7, the N94 is in there, PDW is pretty close by, and I think the SCAR-H is there as well. I don't have many pistol kills, I don't have many shotgun kills, the good kind of shotguns to use, which is the KSG and the a Pro M1216. I don't have any of any of that. And I wanted to change that. I wanted to start challenging myself the way he challenges himself, especially with his current live comp session, the KSG Torture Shack or the Pain Train or whatever it is. He's challenging himself to use a weapon that is more difficult to use because he's reached a point in his gaming where the easy stuff is boring. And more importantly, he knows that he is at a level where most of the people that he's playing against aren't, are going to need the handicap. They're going to need him to gimp himself if they're going to lose. And so I thought about what it would take for me to really challenge myself here. And I don't even think XCal will go 5-7 primary on carrier. But I was doing XCal thinking. It was objective play first, team play second with the UAVs and counters, because the VSAT's nice, don't get me wrong, but it's harder to come by than it was in Black Ops. In Black Ops, you, you can get seven kills and get, a v, and get an orbital VSAT, or Blackbird as it was in that game. Or you can get eight kills if you're not using your hardline. But here you have to get upwards of 12, maybe even 13 kills, depending on what game mode you're playing. So the UAV counter and lightning strike gives that little bit of extra edge without needing to put in a crazy scoring game. But I've got the smokes and the trophy systems, and this is a very powerful setup. I would not have even tried if not for Xcal because I'm, I'm trying to think like he is, putting engagements in such a way that I am always on top and playing the objective in such a way that it is incredibly difficult for them to know where I'm coming from and for them to get a hold on me. However, if you keep watching this gameplay, you'll see that a guy on the other team by the name of Golem HD or Golem RD or, or Golem something, he knows that he that he needs to get his team on the front foot because they're on the back foot this entire match because primarily because of me and my trophy systems and my smoke and my constant objective play. And so he puts on a silenced L set with Cyborg Camo, so I give him credit for that. But he gets a load star and a VTOL warship and then another VTOL warship and then another load star. But he gets them through kills alone. He doesn't get them, he gets them through camping, essentially. And I would have shot these things down except I didn't have a class. But XCal does not care about how many kills you get. Would he like a 40 and 2 domination where he got a lot of kills with attack 45 and some C4? Yeah, anyone with any sort of YouTube standards would probably like to have that. But the win is the most important part. And while we don't win by as big a margin as we would have otherwise, we win by enough. And it's enough to be demoralizing. And that's all XCal cares about. 
is that he's won in such a way that if if you got a if you hit 30 and 20 like I do in this gameplay, but they won by 50 points, the other team just they didn't just lose, they lost badly, no matter how good one or two players did. Because Ascal knows that he, if he has to carry his team, he will. But you always hear him set out points when he's capping on an objective flag. And that is, that's more Excal thinking on my end. My score per minute is not very good. It's around 450, 500 on a good day. And I want to change that. Primarily, Excal does it by playing the objective just incredibly. He's always near a flag, always hopping on an empty flag. He doesn't care about domination, doesn't care about fixing spawns, doesn't care about getting all the kill streaks up. All he cares about is getting on that flag and getting the points on the board. Because at the end of the day, the number of kills you got in a domination match does not necessarily mean that your team won. And indeed, Golem HD, he got a lot of kills with his Lodestar Vital Warship combination. He didn't win. He didn't win by a lot. And in the pre in the post game lobby, he was complaining. I, I muted him because he was a kid. But it felt really good to know that he I didn't have to resort to tactics like camping with an LMG, sitting back, just letting the points on the other team rack up. I was in there doing the hard work. I was in there making sure crap got done, and then worrying about the kills. Because sure, you can work the cutoff on a spawn. And, you know, you'll get a lot of kills, but if you don't have someone on your team who is putting in the effort to do the objective, to play the objective and get those domination points capped, or to get the kill confirmed, or any of it, then your kills aren't worth anything. Unless, of course, you are playing Team Deathmatch of some kind, but Team Deathmatch, the objective is to kill, so do a lot of killing if you like. But I think Xkel plays domination and kill confirmed because he wants to show the enemy team and his own team not only can I beat you, there's absolutely nothing you can do to stop me.